What is going on guys, it is Panjano here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys the ultimate guide to achieving the best possible network speed on both wired and wireless with inside of your PlayStation 4. With inside of this video, we're going to be going ahead and showing you guys how to fully optimize your networking settings, depending on where you are and depending on what country you're in, to give you guys the best results. With inside of this guide, you'll find some quick, easy, and effective optimizations for your networking speed on both wired and wireless with inside of all PS4s, including the Slim and the Pro. And for any of you guys who wish to go a little bit in depth, there'll also be a step towards the end of the video showing you guys how to get the best possible possible ping depending on where you are including the best possible download speed and upload speed for the best networking settings possible if you guys do enjoy this video and do find this video effective please leave a like on the video as it helps me out tremendously and if you guys can also comment down below any results questions queries or suggestions for other content for this channel that'd be deeply appreciated and it is always fantastic to hear from you guys and if you guys do appreciate content like this please do subscribe to the channel and press that bell notification to be notified instantly whenever i do upload a new video so with all of that said and done out of the way let's get straight into the guide to keep this video as as fast and as simple and effective as possible. Right, so starting off with the guide, what you guys will need to go ahead and do is boot onto your PS4 and we're then going to be navigating up to our settings. To do this, you'll scroll all the way to the top inside of the main menu, scroll all the way over to the right hand side and click on the briefcase. With inside of there, we'll then be scrolling down to the network settings and selecting those. With inside of here, you can now perform a basic network test if you wish to see what your current speeds are so you can compare them to the ones later on. Now, regardless of whether or not you guys are running on a wired or a Wi-Fi connection, this, this does not matter as the steps are the exact same regardless of whether or not you're running on Wi-Fi or wired. So once you guys have performed a network test, if you wish to have done so, we can now go ahead over to our setup internet connection tab and select that. With inside of there, you'll then select whether or not you're using a LAN cable or Wi-Fi. Me personally, I'm using Wi-Fi, but again, the steps are the exact same if you're using a LAN cable. Once you guys have selected the option you are using to actually connect to your internet, what we're then going to be doing is going down to how do you want to set up your internet connection and selecting custom. We'll then notify you of the available networks with inside of your PS4, and you'll typically already be connected to your network. So what we're going to be doing now is setting up our network connection or connecting to our already existing network. So for me, I've already got my existing network already on here, but if you guys have to go ahead and set that up, you can do so now. For any of you guys who are connecting through a Wi-Fi network, it'd be worthwhile seeing if your router actually supports the 5 gigahertz frequency band. Now, if you're in the same room as your router or you're relatively close to it, the 5 gigahertz frequency band can often give you guys a lot better speed and a lot better connection. To actually set this up to go with 5 gigahertz only, again, this might not work for some routers, but for most of you, it should work. You can actually go ahead and press the options button on the controller whilst hovering over our network, going over to Wi-Fi frequency bands and selecting 5 gigahertz only, making sure that option is checked and you can then attempt to connect to your network. If it does actually connect, then you're good to go and 5 gigahertz will more than likely give you guys a lot better speeds. But for any of you guys who have your PS4 set up quite far away from the router within inside of your house, you might find better results using 2.4. Your overall network speeds might be a little bit lower, but the connection stability might be better using 2.4. But for me personally, I'd recommend trying out 5 GHz and seeing how you go. So go ahead and select the network in which you are connecting to. Under the IP address settings, we're actually going to be setting automatic as the latest versions of the PlayStation operating system are actually really good at automatically detecting the best settings for you in that sense. For DHCP hostname, we're actually going to be going over to do not specify. And under DNS settings, we're actually going to be setting these to manual, as this is one of the most important steps for establishing the best connection possible. With inside of here, under your primary DNS and secondary DNS, you might have a value already in there. If you do so, or if you don't, don't panic, as we're going to be setting these up according to our location and what's best for your system, depending on whereabouts in the world you live. For any of you guys who are looking for the quickest and easiest option, which might not be the most effective, but should be giving you guys a nice boost, you can actually navigate into the description down below, and you'll see a list of most countries down there. For a primary DNS, I recommend and a secondary. So find the country in which you live in or the closest country on that list to where you do live and go with that primary DNS and secondary DNS. For those, you'll simply go over to where it says primary DNS. You'll then input that exact number in here, exactly how it looks, and you'll then press done. You'll then go down to the secondary DNS listed underneath it, and you'll also put in that address and again press done until you're met with this screen here. And that's for you guys who are looking for the quickest and simplest option. For any of you guys who are looking to fully optimize your networking connection for the lowest ping possible, the lowest amount of lag, and the very best in download speeds, upload speeds, and overall connection stability to lower the amount of lag spikes you're experiencing, we can actually go ahead and run a benchmarking tool to actually find out which is the best DNS server for us, depending on where you live exactly. It'll go ahead and test your connection and show you which DNS servers are the 
are best for you. You can then select from those DNS servers, and at that point you'll be getting the best response time possible, the lowest amount of ping, and the very best in download speeds and connection stability. I highly recommend doing this for everyone watching this video, but if you just want a quick and simple answer, you can simply skip to the time listed on the screen now, and then in the description down below to continue on with this if you just want to follow the simpler steps earlier on. But again, I do recommend following this if you can. Now to run this benchmark, you will have to have access to some sort of personal computer. It can be a Mac or it can be a Windows based computer, but just simply find the nearest computer that is connected to your network, whether that be a laptop or a desktop PC. And what you guys will be doing is navigating into the description down below and you'll find a link for the DNS benchmark program. But inside of there, you'll then be brought to this website here. And what we're going to be doing is navigating over to the download section found here on the left hand side. With inside of here, you'll then be downloading the file which matches the operating system you're running on. So if you're running on Mac OS X, make sure you go ahead and download the version for Mac. If you're on Windows, simply go ahead and download this version here for Windows. So click on the option you're going to be downloading. I'm going to be downloading the Windows version. And once that's then downloaded, simply go ahead and open up the file. With inside of here, the installation wizard will then open. Just simply press extract. And once you guys have done that, the program should then open up, and it should look very similar to this, but some of the options might be a little bit different. The two most important options with inside of here we're going to be going over to are include global DNS providers and include best available region DNS services. Once all of those have been selected, you can set your location to none, health check performance fast, and query data source can be set to Google Chrome, I'd recommend, but you can try the other ones if you wish to do so. Once the benchmark has been completely set up properly, we can then go ahead down to the bottom right hand side and select start benchmark. Now this can take a little while to complete as it's going to be going ahead and running multiple benchmarks and multiple DNS servers to find the very best for your connection stability. It takes up hardly no resources so you can go ahead and use your computer or you can continue to play on your PS4 and just come back to this later on. But again, do bear in mind this does take a little while and this is completely necessary if you wish to get the very best and most optimized connection for your PS4. Right, so once the benchmark has been completed, it should then notify you that it's been completed and we can then go down to the Internet Explorer or whatever browser opens up and you should be given a page similar to this. But inside of this page it will then notify you of the tested DNS servers in which it's actually gone ahead and queried and tested. But inside of this list here you'll find the ones which have been the most responsive. This might look a little bit confusing especially for you guys who are not entirely sure what you're looking at but I'm going to explain this very quickly. With inside of this section down here which is the average MS that is your ping to the DNS servers. It will typically be showing you guys the quickest DNS servers from top to bottom but they're not always the best ones to go with. So with inside of this list we're going to be looking at our results and going with the most stable ping we can possibly go with depending on the DNS server. Now we do want to pay close attention to this as the top DNS server isn't always the best one. As you can see here, if we look at the Google public DNS server, our average ping to that server, which can be found under average MS, is actually 38.96. The minimum amount of ping we got to the server was 12.8, but the maximum was actually 431 ping, meaning that that ping has spiked somewhere between 12 all the way up to 431. As you can see down here for the ultra DNS server, our minimum ping was actually 13.9 and our maximum ping was 1059. So we want to go for the most stable looking ping we can find. We don't want these two numbers to be ridiculously different from each other as that will show instability with inside of those DNS servers and can cause you lag with inside of games and inconsistent download speeds. So for me right now, the Google public DNS server seems to be one of the best ones inside of here, followed by the open DNS server down here, which gives me a minimum ping of 16.5 and a maximum ping of 621. So for my primary DNS server inside of the PS4, I'm going to be setting mine to Google's public DNS. So that'll be the DNS server it always goes goes to first before going to a different DNS server. For the secondary DNS server, if it can't query that DNS server, I'm going to be setting that to the open DNS server found here, which is giving me a maximum ping of 621 and a lowest of 16.5. These seem to be the most stable out of the bunch in which have been queried, so I'm personally going to be going with those. Again, your results may be different and the DNS servers in which work best for you might be completely different as it does go off of where you live and the connection in which you have. So this will be unique for everyone, but you can find out what the best DNS server is by doing these steps. So for me, I'm going to be going with 8.8.8.8 for my primary. I'm going to be going with this number down here for my secondary. So at this point, what you'll be doing is you'll go over to your primary DNS server and you'll set the best server in which you've decided you're going to be going with. So for me, that person is going to be 8.8.8. Your number will more than likely be completely different to mine and the Google public DNS server might not be the best one for you So again, just put in the number and which is uniquely best for you So now that my primary DNS is set up I'm gonna go ahead and press done I'm then gonna be going down to my secondary DNS Which is going to be setting to the second fastest one which is actually the open DNS server So for me, that's going to be 208.67.220.220 and that is my fastest and second fastest DNS server found there. 
Once you guys have got both of those DNS servers set up and make sure that the numbers are correct, go ahead and press next. At this point, you'll be brought to the MTU settings. Just simply go ahead and press automatic. And under proxy server, we're actually going to be clicking on do not use. Once you guys have selected that option, the internet settings should notify you that they have been updated and you can then go ahead and perform a network test. And there you guys have it, my ultimate guide to fully optimizing your PS4 networking speed with inside of all of the available PS4 consoles. Again guys, make sure you do play some games, check out what your ping is inside of those games and the overall connection stability, and let me know down in that comment section down below of any results, questions, queries, or suggestions for more content you might wish to see me do. If you guys can also leave a like on the video if you did find this video helpful and you are happy with the results, that'll also be fantastic as it helps me out tremendously. So thank you very much for watching this video guys, I've been Pangino, and I'm out.